So here I am at the western terminus of the Ice Age Trail, right along the St. Croix River in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, in Interstate Park. Which reminds me of something I was thinking about quite a while ago, but uh, slipped my mind until now. Wouldn't it be fun to see how many Parks on the Air activators we can get at the same time on the Ice Age Trail? Now the Ice Age Trail, if you're not familiar, is a national scenic trail that runs across the state of Wisconsin. Pretty much following where the last glacier stopped thousands of years ago. Besides the trail itself being a Parks on the Air entity, it crosses many state parks and wildlife areas, giving a lot of opportunities for two firsts and even three firsts. Now I wish I remembered to make this video a few months ago so I could get more word out. But the plan is to do it in the second weekend of May, that Saturday, a uh, weekend after the fishing opener, and hopefully before we get a lot of heat and mosquitoes, so it'll be a little more enjoyable. So if you're game, join me on the Ice Age Trail. It goes across the whole state of Wisconsin. Uh, all you hams from Michigan, Minnesota, even the Illinois guys can uh, easily make it to a section of the trail, find yourself a twofer, find a nice state campground to stay at, and activate this big long trail all together. I think it'd just be a lot of fun to see how many hams we can call CQ Poda on the Ice Age Trail at once. Heck, maybe we can make this a reoccurring thing. Once a year, once a month, whatever. It'd be a lot of fun. So if you're game, uh, leave a comment below and uh, share this with other people who might be interested in joining us in activating the Ice Age Trail at the same time. Thanks for watching, folks. Take care.